this video, I will show you how I repurposed an old table, some bottle caps, and beer labels into a beautifully designed mosaic and collage. Step by step, I will show you the supplies I used to complete this project. The first thing you'll want to do is separate your bottle caps by color. I use Ziploc bags to keep them organized. Supply list number one. Graph for creating mosaic pattern, bottle caps color separated, flat surface to lay out the pattern. Make sure you test how many bottle caps fit on the surface of your table so that your pattern is accurate. Supply list number two. Hammer, wire nails 5 eighths of an inch. Make sure you test your pattern on your table before you nail them in to be sure they fit perfectly. When you're ready to nail them down, transport them from a separate flat surface one at a time so they don't bounce all over the place. Next step, I decorated the inside with beer label collages. Supply list number three, beer labels, Mod Podge, paintbrush, blow dryer, wax paper, heavy books. Glue or Mod Podge the labels down first. Then add a layer of glue or Mod Podge to the top. Press down any air pockets with your paintbrush. Then blow dry the top coat. Once the surface is dry, put the wax paper down and then the books. This will help prevent air pockets from lifting or bubbling the labels. Last step is the epoxy finishing coat. Supply list number four. Epoxy resin, four clear cups, gloves, paintbrush, stir stick, straw, isopropyl alcohol. The epoxy I used has a part A resin and B activation. Make sure you use in a well-ventilated room and follow the instructions of the brand you're using. The brand I used can be cleaned up with alcohol. This was my first time using epoxy. I would suggest using clear cups so you can make sure you're mixing in even parts. These red cups made it difficult. Pour in a spiral, starting in the middle, working your way to the edges. Use a paintbrush to work in all the grooves of the bottle caps. Also use the brush to clean up the edges to make sure you have no drips. I used a straw to blow out the air bubbles. You could also use a blowtorch or spray alcohol on them. Same concept for the labels. Use the paintbrush to make sure all the labels are fully covered in epoxy and for making sure the edges don't drip. There you have it, my finished project. Turning trash into treasure. Ha <laughs> ha